Hey everyone, this is Julian from the Binary Lab, and in, uh, uh, just a few moments ago, I actually fell down, and I kind of like, uh, I kind of like, you know, you know, got this this uh, swell on my palm, and also got this this um, scratch on my on on my skin. My skin's pretty tough with riddance. Um, and I actually kind of fell on my back as well. And the reason why that happened was because I was trying to use my mini segue. Uh, I was trying to use my mini segue over here to go over uh, a bunch of, um, you know, these these rocks that are supposed to help me cross from there to here, right? So usually that works, but um, usually that works out quite well. But the reason why it didn't work out today was because the grass was wet and my tires were freshly inflated, so the pressure was really tough. So the the. The reason uh, how that relates to Daddy, is it, but we got to what I can do for talk. Yeah. Okay. So how that relates to what I want to share with you today is that sometimes when you lose, right? When you lose in trading, I want you to recognize what kind of a loss it is, okay? Um generally speaking, when you trade there will be wins and losses, okay? But um there are two kind of losses that in particular tend to piss people off by a lot. And these losses are the ones that happen by accident. Uh, and the ones that happen uh, that are unexpected and the ones that happen because you you broke a rule okay so um, I want to specifically talk about these ones because these are the kind of losses that pisses a lot of people off and makes a lot of people go into revenge trading mode so uh, at the same time it also if not putting people in revenge trading mode I'm, that's for the guts here people basically but it puts a different group of people into a fear of trading so I want to basically relate that to this experience that where I just fell down um, uh, on my back thankfully uh, I do a lot of sports so I'm not actually injured it was just it was just a, a soreness for a while but it went away so how that works out with um, with you know day-to-day -day activities is the same so let's say when you when you made a mistake and then uh, when you made a mistake and you lost money so accept that the fact that uh, you you traded in a way that you shouldn't have done so like for example just now you know when I when I went from there to here, you know on my mini segue, a lot of a lot of parents were standing around. And by the way, it's because I was picking my kids after school. So a lot of parents they were looking and then they were saying that uh, they're kind of like you know they, they they were aware of it and then they turned to look at themselves and they were giving that they kind of a uh, they kind of tut 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 or kind of you know kind of expression which I mean it pisses me off. But um, and and I could hear people talking about themselves. It's like you know. Well, I, I see they're, like, they're telling each other, uh, well, I, I will never get one of those things because they're dangerous. So, uh, in fact, it's not, it's not that these things are dangerous. It's not that these things are dangerous. It's just a matter that it's improper usage. So, if, if I get a, if I get a, a injury or I fall off because of improper Daddy. usage, it's not that it's... Daddy. Yeah, what? I can always let one your friend. Yes, you can. Go ahead, go ahead. What's oh. my Go ahead. Okay. No, I, I, I'm, I'm making a video right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, so if you make a mistake uh, on your own and then you... Uh, I mean, if I made a mistake, I know what a mistake is and I, I pick up myself and do it again. So let's say if I... <coughs> If, if it's a trading thing, I know that I made the error, so rightfully I just continue as I, I would usually. There's, n there's nothing essentially wrong with trading, it's just because we took a shortcut. Okay, like I took a shortcut over here. I took a shortcut that I probably wasn't the idea, okay, but there was just too many parents standing around. I just wanted to get through the whole lot, and I didn't feel like, uh, it didn't feel like getting off the thing, pushing it. And then and there also be the times when, sometimes, you know, when we get those trades, do you, do you know sometimes in the trade, where um, in the final, no, we, we thought it looked like a beautiful trade, but in the final one minute, it, it turned into a loss. Maybe it was a news release, maybe it was, uh, I don't know, some, some kind of a market shakeup that happened, and it resulted in you losing the trade. So what do you do in that kind of a situation? When that kind of situation happens, unexpected, well, um, it's just one of those things, you know? It's just like, you know, sometimes when you're rollerblading, and then uh, so happened there was a, um, there was a, twig that fell from a tree that was too fast for you to react to and it jammed your wheels and you fell off. It don't mean that rollerblading is bad. It don't mean that rollerblading is dangerous. It just means that, you know, uh, it's just one of those things that it's not even about taking caution because uh, you could be a very cautious skater but suddenly there was this piece of twig or a branch that fell in front of you that you couldn't react in time and as a result you had to fall down. It don't mean that it's dangerous. It don't mean that you need to give up. 
but you need to instead recognize what actually went wrong and uh, you know address the problem. Um, I think there was a parable in the Bible as well about staring at a let's say you know if you get bitten by a serpent yeah or, or like you get cursed by a you know some kind of a, you know uh, it's like a serpent like idol thing you're supposed to stare hard at it and and address it so it's the same thing with trading when you make a mistake whether it's an accident or unexpected uh, or let's say you lose because of an unexpected situation take a good look at what happens so that it teaches you more about that kind of situation it teaches you how to recognize problems and then at the same time you know it's going to give you the knowledge to empower you to trade better in the future and of course there will be the times that you know sometimes there will be some days when nothing ever seems to work out yeah yes i can so it, there'll be the days where it seems as if nothing 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 ever works out right when you've followed the rules and then it's just not going well for you um and uh you know you and and because because you're 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 losing and you couldn't figure it out uh then you know then you want to or, or let's say let, it's the same thing as this let's say if you if you hello, hello if, if you if you made a fall and you hurt yourself i mean just now i felt i had a I had a temporary swelling on my palm and uh, a gash in the back of my arm, but uh, I mean it was no big deal. However, if it was a tarmac, well, it was a tarmac, I could have got some couple of nasty gashes. And if I had taken a, na a couple of nasty gashes, you know, like one of those days when I have, uh, hey there, Michael. So let's say if I have, you know, some unex, uh, some accident and I got injured, what do I do? I would basically, you know, try to get myself some kind of. Uh, uh, I will try to clean the injury, apply some apply some anti uh, anti uh, bacterial or antiseptic, and uh, you know maybe even put some uh, topical uh, topical what do you call that uh, anesthetic right to kind of relieve the pain. Um, it's the same thing when you lose money in a trade. When you lose money in a trade that is unexpected, and then let's say to on a certain day you you, play, you stick with all the rules, but you got hit. What do you do? Well. Before you go out there and try to fight, there's no way you can go out there to try to trade more when you're not in a condition to do so. Obviously, you have to fix your issues first, all right? If any of you play uh, car racing games, uh, I, I like to play Real Racing 3. And some of you uh, have been challenging me on Real Racing 3 as well, and I, I, I see that. Um, so on Real Racing 3 and many car racing games, you know, you get to drive the car a couple of times, and after a, bu uh, a bunch of driving off track, a bunch of hit collisions you have to service the car before you can race it again of course you can continue to race it but the performance will not be optimal maybe the, the acceleration will be a bit off maybe the uh, top speed will be less and and when these things happen it's the same thing as if you're trading if you have already taken a string of losses on a certain day that's why a lot of people say stop at three or stop at four you know so let's say when or let's say stop at seven percent down so that's what i do if i'm seven percent down i stop and and what i what what i do in those circumstances that i you know I know that I need some servicing. My brain needs some servicing, uh, or maybe you know, my I need to I need to see what's what what I've done wrong. Is there something that I overlooked, or perhaps maybe sometimes you know uh, the conditions have just become a way that is you know undrivable or untradable in this case. Let's say if if the if the uh, if you're driving a race and then you went, you see the F1 when it starts raining like. In the middle of a, a race, everyone goes into the pits and changes from regular flat tires into whatever's good for for uh, wet weather slicks. And so should you in your training. Let's say if things have drastically changed, uh, you definitely want to be changing your approach as well. But uh, but that also involves you going into the pits, you know, taking a bit of a recap during during the time that things are being changed, and then going off with a fresh strategy. So uh, today I wanted to give you an idea. Yes, I can. Uh, I want to give you an idea, okay, ants and mosquitoes are biting me off, that um, the way to handle losses um, is, not, is not very different from handling a lot of day-to-day -day activities. And the fact that a lot of people, uh, the, the, the fact that a lot of people, or even you, may have experienced losses and per you have perpetuated losses because of some losses that you made, uh, is because although you know what to do in day-to-day -day situations, uh, you haven't really you haven't really, you know, gotten used to applying these day-to-day -day ideologies to your trading. So, I mean, this is a really good example in today's video, and I hope that it helps you out. And if this makes sense to you, please share this video. And um, you know, if if this, uh, the the next thing you need to do, the, if 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 you find this makes sense, 
try to implement this into your trading and try to put some common sense into your trading uh, when you're when you're getting a like a when you're getting a, 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 a good day likewise when you're getting a good day like people say that when you hit a new personal best it's time to call it quits and give yourself a pampering and on the, on the other hand you know if you are injured then you need some time on the bench you need some time in in the you know the the infirmary it's the same thing for trading as well so um, if you if you use these ideas in your trading you'll be able to you know condition yourself repair yourself and and ensure that you're always trading your top training condition thank you bye bye this is Julian from the binary lab I'll see you on the inside bye for now